Hold on, let that breathe real quick. Now the war has begun and it's finally kicking off. Let's get it. Let's see if Samoans get their revenge, man. Cause Praise God, bro. Hey y'all, how y'all doing, man? So we got we got us to watch the top the uh, Samoa and Tonga. They went to war, man, in 1250 AD. So we're gonna go ahead and check this out. Let's get it. I don't wanna let the music play just cause I don't know if we got copyright on here. Uh, yeah, it does. So we're not gonna let the music play. I'm gonna just put like a background beat. We're gonna read through what happens, man. It's like I'm like a narrator a little bit. Around 8 to 900 BD, the once powerful Samoan, Samoan. Hold on, it's going kind of fast. Hold on. The once powerful Samoan Tui Manau Empire declined in power, passing down into a legend. Passing down into what? And power, declining in power, passing, leading the way for another Polynesian island to rise. Okay. And they said, who did that? Who did that? Okay, the Samoan, okay, they passed the okay, baby. So Samoan started declining. As time went on, Polynesia began to change. Polynesia. A new empire risen from the south. All right, now y'all can speed it up now. It's a little slow now. They were called, they are making it all dramatic. They were called the Tui Tonga Empire. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going on, man. So they showing us some visuals. Looks like around 1200 AD, the Tongan Empire reached the height of their empire. Of reached the height of their power. Am I, am I tripping or I can't read? God damn, bruh, feet, was that a, hold on. You see something? That was a man, right? Okay, I was gonna say her feet was humongous, low key. I wonder if y'all Samoan girls got the big feet or not. Cause it look like it might run in the, their fleets, rule the seas. Okay, man, shout out to them rowing, cause I know that's that's some real work right there. They said sail to conquer many islands, and they talk about the uh, Samoans right now. Yep, thousands of Tongan warriors. Or oh, was they talk about the Tongans right now? I forgot who it was talking about. Invaded the islands of the Pacific. Okay, so the Tongans started stuff with the Samoans. They came and invaded them first. And look, it's all on fire. So the Tongans really started it. Okay. From Samoa to Fiji. So Tongans was just trying to bully everybody. They thought they was the British. Tongans, thought, <laughs> Tongans tried to colonize like they was the white men from the UK. Uh, To the Cook Islands in Nui. Nui. Look at them, man, to their own people. God dang, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, look at this visual right here, bro. What's really going on? Are they choking him? That's a bad way to go out right there. Jesus. That's a bad way to go out. Honestly, anyway, it's a bad way, but, and many more. Oh, I thought he, thousands of Polynesian people suffered. That visual is so fake. I thought he put it inside of his gut under their new Tongan rulers. So the Tongans started to rule everybody. So the Samoans is kind of the underdogs now. Let me see if they ever got their power back. But one of the islands, what did one of the islands do? So the Tongans was going to island to island trying to body everybody. That's what we know so far. Refused to bow to their Tongan rulers. Now who did that? Who refused to bow down? These islanders are known as who? Like, tell us. They making it all dramatic, bro. Samoa. I thought they just said Tongan came and attacked Samoa and uh, Nui. But, so they say Tongans, the Samoans didn't bow down to the Tongans. Now, who is this dancing? I want to say this Samoa right here. They need to tell us what's going on, man. I'm kind of intrigued in this story. What's going on? The Samoans wanted to kick the Tongans out of their island. But the before the war began, however, the Tongans and Samoans had a very good friendship. Huh? Then they just, hold on, what? Before the war began. Oh, okay, so the Tongans, okay, so before the war, they was cool. Had a very good friendship. They kind of lost me a little bit. Before the war, they was cool. The Tongans respected the Samoans, even though they was trying to body them. And the Samoans honored the people of Tonga, even though they was trying to body them. So before they, before they fought, it was all respect. The Tongan kings would bring gifts for the people of Samoa. Oh, for real. Now, did they try to, was it a betrayal? The Samoans become the highest ranking people in the empire. 
So the Samoans, the, for a time, Samoans and Tongans lived in peace. Okay, probably like 50 years, 100 years or something, 80 years, they was in peace. You know what I'm saying? Crazy how people know this. Like, how did we really know this was true? But as time went by, what happened as time went by? Let's see what's going on. The friendship between the two islands began to soar. Okay. But, oh, sour, my bad. It began to sour. Then a new Tongan king rose to power. Okay. It's always a power-hungry gentleman, ain't it? Tui Tonga Tala... Hold on. <laughs> what that's it? Tui Tonga Talaka Faiki. Okay, bet. Talaka Faiki. Okay, Tui Tonga Talaka So he got Tonga in his name. He changed everything. So he was the... Samoa. Oh, oh! Samoa word. Dang, he put that. Oh, that's not on his head. If that was on his head, that would have been bad, though. I ain't gonna lie. That's a bad way to go out to it. That was her hand. That's a bad way to go out. Samoan villages were attacked. So, pretty much, a Tongan king became power hungry and started to attack their, not allies, but, you know, people that they respected. They burnt and destroyed our homes. Oh, so this person is Samoan that made this video. Wow. So the Samoans were really victims, man. The Tongans tried to body them once again. Like I say, they tried to body them, man. Tua Tongan forced many Samoans into slavery. Wow, slavery. So they slaved each other, enslaved each other. Okay. Wow, man. Samoans in some areas had their freedom taken brutally. Man, brutally is a hard word. So if this really happened brutally in a brutal way, Shout out to the Tongans, because y'all ruthless over there. The Tongans killed many of the people of Samoa. Wow. I wonder if it's like an underlying beef going on between these two peoples. Tongans warriors showed no mercy to the people of Samoa. Wow. No mercy whatsoever. It's unique, because they look just alike. You know what I'm saying? Or not unique, but I don't know. It's interesting, man. The people of Samoa lost everything. Underline everything twice because it seemed like they really lost everything, man. You got people over here crying. Hundreds of Samoans were eaten. What? Tongans over there cannibals now? Hold on. All the Samoans is eating each other. Our women. The Samoans was eating their own women and men. They was eating their own children. Wow. Was that a typo? Did they mean to say Tongan or what? Because they said Samoans, bro. They said the Samoans was eating uh, the people, man. So they was eating their own people. They stole. Oh, nah, yeah, they got to say the Tongans was doing that. They stolen. Yeah, that happened to everybody, people. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody got, you know what I'm saying? Great. Thousands of Samoans died under the two Tongan, Tongan, Tongan rule. So he Tonga Talafikini sound like he was the I don't want to put this on him, but it sound like he was the Hitler over there or something. A great sadness was felt throughout Samoa. But out of the chaotic violence, somebody rose up in the power. Let me guess. Somebody rose up. Seven heroes awakened. Okay. Is that how you spell heroes? The seven grandchildren of the famous chief. Is that how you spell chief? Would well, unite all of Samoa. So they pretty much got seven people that came and gave them that fire, that 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 momentum that they needed. Like never before, the people of Samoa would be united for the first time. I, I might speed this video up. Um, that's what I should have did. I should have sped the video up. There we go. Since the fall of the Tui Manali Empire. Um, okay, that's way better. That's a little bit better, right? Since the, since the fall of the empire. So they're showing them dancing right here. Filter, okay. Anger and revenge. So they was mad. It filled the hearts of all Samoans, man. So I would be mad too. I will be very mad. Honestly, I'll probably be mad to this day a little bit. Honestly, look, that's what I'm saying. Say I'm Tongan, bro. Or say I'm Samoan. And like, it's Tongans over there. I'll be like, yeah, y'all cool. But I still look at y'all like, mm -hmm. Yo, ancestor did that to my, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now I'm just trying to instigate. They, uh, the Samoans' hatred for the Tongans grew each day. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly, it was probably already past the threshold for real. If, that, if this was really happened to their people, yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying? Of course, they mad. 
I wonder how far they, how far away they lived from each other though. That's the question. How far was each other's island, or were they on the same island, a different island, or what? How, you know what I'm saying? The people of Samoa now had a united goal to get their revenge to destroy the Tongan invaders. So the sons of Aetiogi made a plan to attack the Tongan armies and their king. Now you know this king does not play that they're about to attack. They invited the Tongan king and Tongan warriors from all over the Pacific. Wow, so they really set them up kinda. Let's see what they did for a massive feast. Wow, kinda like the Thanksgiving thing over here, huh? Tongans from all over the empire came, prepared for the great feast. <laughs> My fault, y'all. I had to yawn real quick, you know what I'm saying? I just woke up though. And we ain't got no audio, so the Great Tongan Navy set sail for Samoa. Yeah, they deep too. I feel like I'm reading a book a little bit. It's kind of interesting, man. They set sail for Samoa, man. They set sail. Let's get it. Thousands of Tongan warriors and noblemen gathered together. These Tongans, I ain't gonna lie, they gotta die. <laughs> it's only, it's only right, Justice Lee. Justice Lee. How you say that, Justice Lee? Meanwhile, this in the islands of Samoa. So they was islands away then from each other. The Samoans trained for a great war. It was training for a great war. Revenge consumed their minds. Of course, man, there was nothing but hatred for their cruel Tongan enemies. They was mad, furious, and flamed. The men of Samoa joined together to form a massive army. How many people were they? We need like a number on that. We do not want to be up under no other, nobody else's chin, the cameraman, you know what I'm saying? Warriors, wives and daughters of high rank. Okay. Wives and daughters of chiefs and young men. Okay. Prepare for battle. Look at how they, look how they making this dramatic right here. Prepare for battle. Prepare your war, for, prepare your people for war. Well, it's, honestly, they not making it dramatic. It really was dramatic for real. Around this time, it was serious. Do not be afraid. Bring your hearts. What do you say? Do not be afraid. Bring your hearts together, man. We we go together, man. So they're giving a motivational speech right here. It's about to get serious, man. Around 1250 AD. It's about to get serious right here. Let's go. Hundreds of huge Tongan canoes were spotted off of the east coast of Upolo, Upolu. They made their way to Alapeda, where the great feast was held. Okay, wow. Back door to man. Messages. Messengers were sent throughout Samoa. Messengers were sent throughout Samoa to gather the people of Samoa together. So they was pretty much passing the word around. Now, you know, that's kind of bad because the game of telephone, you say one message starting from point A, by point Z, it's a whole different message. Hundreds of thousands, what'd it say? Hundreds of Samoa high chiefs became together. High chiefs came together, okay. Thousands of Samoan warriors. What's about to happen, man? They, they kind of stretching this out a little bit. Answered the call to battle. Okay. We got some visuals right here going on. I wonder if they was like cut back then. Swole, 13 Samoan kingdoms. How many people was around around this time, man? United as one, because they said 13 kingdoms. How big is these islands? All the Samoa chanted the ancient king, Matama Tama. Eyes of the dead, whoa. Eyes of the dead, eyes of the dead. Smash the Tongan until he's dead. Eyes of the dead, eyes of the dead. Smash the Samoan, you won't hit. Eyes of the dead, eyes of the dead. Smash the Tongan until he's dead. Eyes of the dead, eyes of the dead. Smash the Samoan and you won't hit. So they was over there having a Dr. Seuss um, rap. That's a Dr. Seuss kind of, the two great warrior leaders of Samoa. Fata and Tuna rallied thousands of Samoans together while thousands of Tongans landed in Alapata expecting a great feast. Instead of a feast, thousands of Samoan warriors awaited them. Drum roll. And thus the great Tongan Samoan war began. Hold on. Let that breathe real quick. Now the war has begun and it's finally kicking off. Let's get it. Let's see if Samoans. Get their revenge, man, because honestly, they deserve it. And I always root for the underdogs, man. I was I was already Team Samoa before this video. You know what I'm saying? Just because of rugby. 
if it's ever targets, but the targets is cool though. You know what I'm saying? But oh jeez, you might have to edit that out right there. Hold on, that was a little much right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to skip this, y'all, cause ain't no way we're going to YouTube. Uh, many blood battles were fought while with hundreds, possibly thousands, were killed. Now the final battle approaches. So they had a lot of battles, okay, a lot of battles. The final battle of the Great Tongan Samoan War of the 1200s. Now we just seen the PNG War, they was going crazy. The Battle of Cape Fatua Sophia. Sophia, Sophia. They are deep right here, man. It's a lot of people, man. A lot of muscle, a lot of legs, a lot of limbs, a lot of arms, a lot of people that must go. A lot of people that will not survive, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people right there, man. And they fighting on uncomfortable circumstances. They ain't got no shoes. It's that same beach that uh, Cheeky was popping at, that, man. <laughs> hey, Cheeky was popping at this same beach, bro. If you, if you remember that video, then you know about that. You know what I'm saying? He was getting down on that beach right there, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> Samoa, uh... We shall never return for war. Great warriors, great fighters. We shall leave and never return. If we do return, we shall never return for war. For we shall return as visitors. Go back to Tonga and hide yourself. And never dare return to Samoa. So is this really so? The Tongans have finally been defeated. Okay, so the final battle they lost. Most of the Tongans and Samoa were forced to retreat that same day. So they had a lot of battles in that same day. The surviving Tongans sail back to Tonga. I don't know, like this what I was saying. This don't make this don't line up though. They just said they had many battles. How many battles are really happening in one day? In one day? I see like if it was a month or a week, but a lot of battles in one day on the island. I'm saying I don't know all that. Somebody exaggerating right there. I just know BS when I see it, man. The surviving Tongans sail back to Tonga. They never return for many years. So Samoans got to be safe because chances are they might try to do the same thing that they just did to them. So they really got to be on defense. Some Tongans didn't make it onto the boats when they retreated. Make it on when they retreated. These remaining Tongan warriors were stuck in Samoa and could not escape. I wonder if they could just blend in because they look alike, you know what I'm saying? There were also some Samoans who betrayed Samoa and fought for the Tongans. Really, Samoan traders who stood alongside the Tongans in battle. Wow, that's crazy. The audacity, the disrespect, had their hearts eaten. Wow. And they're going to show somebody eating a heart. Now I got to edit that out, even though it's not real. Remaining Tongans were captured throughout Samoa. Wow, they left some of their people. I mean, I guess they had no choice. So now they are prisoners of war. Samoan warriors forced captured Tongans to eat poisonous. Wow, so they ain't just let them chill. It to eat poisonous roots, causing many Tongans to die a slow and painful death. See, the Samoans was mad, man. They was mad because what the Tongans did to them. They had to get their revenge, man. They had to. Tongan warriors who tried to hide were hunted down by the Samoans. Oh, he about to chop his arm off. No mercy was shown to the captured Tongans. Yeah, it looked like no mercy was shown. Looked like he's still breathing though. That's somebody's real head. Nah, that's not a real head right there. The heads of Tongan warriors were taken as trophies. Wow. How much more story is left? For they are the truth. Oh, Samoa, they shall be crushed. For the freedom, Samoa was paid with blood and sacrifice. And free, Polyn here we go. Polynesian oral history speak about how impressed he was with the warriors of Samoa, even though they were enemies. He admired the Samoan leaders. Uh, for they led the armies of Samoa masterfully with bravery and great skill. We shall never forget the great warrior leaders and heroes of Samoa during the 1200s. That's a long time ago, man. I wonder if y'all still fighting today. 
So these are the people right here. These are the seven leaders right here. Let's get it. Oh no, it's just okay. It's just it's just random leaders and random heroes right here. Okay, so they got it. So this is okay. Hold on. This is what they said earlier. This is Fata and Tuna right here. This is Fata and Tuna right here. This is Ulami, Uluma Sui right here. Okay. Tapalo, Tapalo, Tapulo right here. Um, Faalu right here. He look like a real warrior. I'm not gonna lie, look like he really can get deadly with that blade right there. Give you a haircut too if you want that. Savio look like he got some um, some coarse hair. You see what I'm saying? This historical war is very important in Polynesian history for this war marked the decline of the Tui Tonga Empire. So Tongans was really trying to be the they, they Tongans thought they was Germany, man. They tried to body everybody. Let me see. The Samoan victory also started a new high chief title in Samoa. Mali Toa. We can't be seeing this type of stuff on YouTube, though, man. This is actually crazy right here. Samoa. <laughs> I wonder if Tongans tell this story a little different. We shall leave and never return if we do return. Hey, that's interesting. I wonder if other people tell this story a little different or if they, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's interesting, though. That's actually very interesting, man. Wow. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know if I said these names the right way. Uh, we should do more of these type videos. I'm out. We gone. Let's get it. Yes, sir.